Are we actually working more for less? Absolutely. It's a pressurized situation more than before for an income lower than before. They're working harder, working more hours, and bringing home less. At the same time, they're accumulating debt. Being massively in debt and working and studying around the clock is an increasingly common situation for young Americans. Why? Well, the American workplace is not what it once was. How much has the work environment changed for young people in the past 15 to 20 years? As drastically as you could imagine. Probably the most important thing is the end of a secure job. Well, over the last 15 years, the wages in the United States have been stagnant. The gap between the richest income earners and the lowest income earners was less than most Western European countries. Today, we are number one. Richard Wolff is a professor of economics and the founder of Democracy at Work, an advocacy organisation for workers' rights. So it was, for a while, a country of, of whom it could be said honestly, each generation will live better than the one before. They had that built in. In the 1970s, that ended. It became more profitable for corporations and they were able to pursue profits by changing the workplace, by taking away the benefits, by making it uncertain whether you'd have a job or how many hours you'd work or exactly what you would do. Professor Wolf says that young workers have got it bad and selling it as the hustle isn't making it any better. This is very American. This is branding, this is advertising. How do you sell something that's really crappy? You make it sound like it's sexy. The gig economy, the sharing economy, the hustle economy, these are all ways of trying to put lipstick on a pig. It's still a pig, even if you've put lipstick on the pig. 